In this session, let us try to understand one bar can trivia question. Basically, these types of questions bar guys only will ask. So, keep three stars. Basically, they will extend the discussion. If you see bark, okay, they will extend the discussion for each and everything such that maybe means uh, you may be interviewed for half an hour or one hour or one and a half hour also. Okay, means of course, this question, the, of course, means basic of this question. They asked in civil services one time, I think in 96. So, in the question, they will ask you that a transformer is there. In a transformer, in a transformer connected with ideal voltage source, connected with ideal voltage source. Okay, they will extend the question. Okay, just let us see. Maybe secondary is here. It is like this. Now, if I place some part of the magnetic material, some part of the magnetic material with non-magnetic material. Okay, so means I remove some part of the magnetic material and I replace it that with non-magnetic material. They will ask you first what will happen to the flux. Then they will ask you no load current. What will happen to the no load current? Transformer is under no load conditions only. Then they will ask you what will happen about hysteresis loss. Then they will ask you what will about eddy current loss. Then again they will ask you to draw the phasor diagram. And then again they will ask you what will happen to the leakage. Okay. Now, means from this point of view also, we will understand one thing. At least let me conclude that. Maybe explanation I will give you once we start leakage. Okay, now black is going to be full transformer with complete magnetic material and red, red, let me consider it as a second case that is part of the magnetic metal is replaced with non-magnetic material. One thing, for example, this is 100 volts, 100 volts, so back induced voltage should be 100 volts, okay, means that my operating flux is pi naught, for example, 100 flux lines okay for each volt for example scaling factor scaling factor now means if i write an equation magnitude of v1 should be equal to magnitude of v1 equal to n1 d pi naught by dt now in between the both the cases v1 is constant so e1 should be constant constant means that that is ac constant it is not dc constant so v1 is constant means that e1 should be constant in both the cases means that operating flux should be constant okay so 100 volt 100 volt 100 flux that is standard now let me think of the first one if you try to draw the magnetic circuit yet starting with black only reluctance of core is there and here mmf will be there MMF will be there. MMF is nothing but number of turns multiplied by no load current I naught. The ampere turns will give you operating flux of pi naught. And this is reluctance of the core. Reluctance of the core. Now in the second case, in the second case if you see operating flux to remain same. Operating flux is going to be constant in the red. Okay, and in the red what happened some part of the magnetic material has been removed and it is filled with non-magnetic material Non-magnetic material reluctance is going to be high. Why? Because relative permeability is only one only. So for example, let me add This is reluctance of non-magnetic material Okay, so reluctance of non-magnetic material is aided and operating flux to be same okay kind of current is same resistance is increased in analogous way so under that conditions what is the mmf should be increased so mmf in the second case should be increased and number of turns is going to be same they did not change so no load current has to be increased so that is the second point second point is no load current if you think of no load current if you think of no load current has to be increased tremendously okay why already we have seen a problem Okay, so just if I give 2 mm air gap, 2 mm air gap, in order to set up the same amount of flux for 2 mm, very small air gap, 1 in 10,000 part of the air gap if you maintain, to compensate that my no load current or current to be injected was forced to be increased to, increased by 25%. Okay, so 1 in 10,000 part to compensate that my current was increased by 25%. So if I give more air gap here, automatically current to be injected will be tremendously high. Tremendously high. Now let us think of the third one. The third one is going to be, for example, hysteresis. Okay, so if you think of hysteresis loss, hysteresis loss. 
okay hysteresis loss will they reduce or increase or same okay one thing we have to say here that is hysteresis losses will be there whenever you have area of bh is non zero area of bh will be there only for magnetic material for non magnetic material it's going to be straight line sorry straight line linear straight line linear so the moment it's a straight line you don't form any area the moment you don't form any area automatically hysteresis losses will not be there now if you have a small recap of hysteresis loss hysteresis loss equal to area of bh multiplied by volume of iron volume of iron multiplied by frequency okay they did not give you any variation frequency constant area of bh is going to be constant but if you think of volume of iron volume of iron is going to be reduced here because if you see here okay in the first case my volume of iron is complete but in the second case some part of the portion is removed and in this in this portion of red it is non magnetic metal they said so for a non magnetic metal how much will be the hysteresis loss zero because it's a straight line it will not form any area so means volume of iron is going to be from yeah volume of iron is going to be from here to here only this particular volume of iron has been removed in the second case so hysteresis losses if you see hysteresis losses has to be reduced because volume of iron is going to be reduced so hysteresis losses will be reduced that is case 3 now if you think of fourth one let us think of eddy current loss okay now if you think of eddy current loss eddy current loss will it increase or reduce or same now you have to ask a question because hysteresis losses will be there hysteresis losses will be there if the material is magnetic material but eddy current losses will be there if the material is electrical conductor because eddy currents are the property of electrical okay so eddy currents represent the electrical property hysteresis represent magnetic property so in order to know eddy current losses first of all we should understand we should understand this particular thing okay whether it is extra filled material is it going to be electrical conductor or not for example for example if you think of non magnetic material this they said that it's a non magnetic material relative permeability of 1 okay so all magnetic materials are electrical conductors that does not mean that non magnetic materials are electrical insulators because if you think of copper non magnetic metal it's a electrical conductor if you think of aluminum non magnetic material but it's a electrical conductor if you think of pvc or wood or air is going to be non magnetic but electrical insulator so the moment it's a non magnetic material the moment it's a non magnetic material there are two possibilities what are those two possibilities either it can be electrical conductor or electrical insulator electrical conductor like copper aluminum etc or i can think of electrical insulator electrical insulator like pvc or wood or yale or something like that okay so means actually all electrical insulators are all electrical insulators are non magnetic materials all magnetic metals are electrical conductors that does not mean that all uh, what do you say non magnetic materials are electrical insulators because copper and aluminum are non magnetic metals but uh, but you see here copper and aluminum are non magnetic metals but electrical conductors and pvc and wood are non magnetic metals but electrical insulators electrical insulators so the moment they said non magnetic material now you have to ask them you have to ask them okay sir it's a non magnetic material is it electrical conductor or not why because eddy current losses will be decided by conductivity of the electrical conductivity of the material okay so if you see the moment you ask this question for sure they have to choose this one electrical insulator only because because if you think of electrical conductor for example means from here to here it's anyway iron okay it means depending upon electrical conductivity and all or resistance of the uh, magnetic material you are going to get eddy current loss now if you think of for example if this particular area is filled with copper filled with copper means copper resistivity has to be compared with the uh, iron and thickness of lamination should be compared with iron okay so i can say that the moment if it is electrical conductor eddy current losses for this particular section for this particular section cannot be zero if you think of electrical insulator eddy current losses for this section is going to be zero 
okay so the moment if they say electrical conductor we cannot conclude anything because net ab current losses can increase or can reduce or can be same that all depends upon the thickness of lamination variation resistivity variation resistivity variation so in the interview default they have to stop electrical conductor now they will say that electrical insulator for example here if you think of conductor electrical conductor eddy current losses in this particular conductor will not be zero so net eddy current losses including iron and this particular included one we cannot comment here now if you think of it is electrical insulator electrical insulator under that conditions net eddy current losses net eddy current losses has to reduce because in this electrical insulator eddy current losses will not be there in this remaining iron eddy current losses will be there so net eddy current losses will reduce okay now they will ask you they will ask you to draw the phasor diagram okay this is actually very crucial they will ask you to draw the phasor diagram now if you draw the phasor diagram for example as usual black is going to be the old case black is going to be the old case now this is pi naught this is pi naught and this is minus e1 or v1 minus e1 equal to v1 now in the first case my no load current for example For example, this is going to be the no load current I01, including hysteresis and eddy currents, including alpha and eddy current component. I01 is going to be the total eddy currents, sorry, total no load current I01. Okay, now if you split this particular I01 into magnetizing component of no load current and loss component of no load current, if you split, okay so this is going to be magnetizing component of no load current and this is going to be last component of no load current okay so here this is going to be last component of no load current in the first case and this is going to be magnetizing component of current in the first case now from first case to second case let me think of red okay so from first case to second case from first case to second case what is happening the magnitude of no load current should increase okay so the magnitude of no load current should increase magnitude of no load current should increase and at the same time if you think of electrical insulator okay if you think of electrical insulator net eddy current losses should reduce hysteresis losses anyway will reduce so total core loss should reduce total core loss should reduce means that what is the last component of current should reduce because voltage is same voltage is same voltage is same if current magnitude reduce i can say that total loss component of a uh, loss component is going to be reduced total losses are going to be reduced so see here if i think of red here if i think of red here okay so means here okay here compulsorily my component of no load current should increase component of no load current should increase and at the same time and at the same time means i should not get i should not get more than this last component last component should be reduced for example let me think of last component is reduced last component is reduced okay so this is going to be iw iw in the second case okay what about the i mu i mu is going to be okay so this is going to be i mu now if you think of if you think of no load component of no load current in the new case in the new case is going to be length should be more okay so length is more this is going to be i01 in the new case okay so length of i01 is increased or not yes magnetizing component of no load current is increased but loss component is reduced loss component is reduced that is going to be the result of what do you say uh, this no load component of current okay now second thing is the next thing is the last thing the last thing is like we should be able to say about the leakage of course as of now as of now we cannot comment on this because leakage i'm about to start the discussion so for time being let me conclude that leakage leakage will increase leakage will increase with the air gap 
actually the moment i discuss this in the leakage okay this, I, i'm going to discuss this point in uh, leakage of transformer then we will understand leakage in transformer is going to be least compared to all other rotating machines all other rotating ac machines because of this reason only i will connect this at the immediately after the leakage point okay so this is the interview question most preferably this type of questions people ask you in bark interview okay